How's it going guys? It is me, Chris here. Once again, I would like to apologize for being away from YouTube for so long, uh, but today I am back in action and I hope to be making a video for you guys relating to this green screen that I have behind me that I picked up about a week and a half ago. So uh, let's kind of get into it. So as you guys can see, the screen is right behind me here, uh, but to make this a little bit more of an interesting video rather than just telling you that I did pick this up and showing you that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to cr chroma key things out in Final Cut Pro 10, and uh, yeah, let's add some effects to this. So this is just the normal green screen now, but let's jump over to the screencast and show you what you guys can do in Final Cut. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, we have Final Cut Pro 10 open here, and I have imported this last bit of footage um, that you guys just saw. So basically, what I'm going to do is just show you how I like to chroma key things out and how you can do it using this program. So as you can see, this is just the clip here. Uh, but today, I am back in action, and I hope to be... Again, sorry guys for this audio quality during the beginning of the video, um, because I did not want my Blue Snowball microphone coming out in front of the green screen and stuff like that and ruining the effect so I just used the internal mic on the Kodak ZI8 uh, but that's besides the point so anyways what I'm gonna wanna do here is click on uh, effects right up here and then as you can see I've already clicked on it but if you're if it comes up like this you just wanna click down here on keying click keyer and just simply drag it right on top of this footage and it should pick up right away and uh, just totally get rid of the uh, green background. So it's really, guys, it's really that easy. As you can see, things aren't perfect because I literally did use two lights. One, as you can see here, that's kind of coming up on the back, but I'll show you how to fix that. Um, and then one straight on. So if I had a three-point lighting system or even better, you wouldn't be, you would really wouldn't even be able to tell that this was in front of a green screen. But you can see a little bit around my hair up here that you know things aren't perfect. But uh, if you want to, uh, you can go click here and then open up the inspector and you can kind of just go through all these different options, the spill level, fill holes, color, transform, crop, distort, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards really. Um, but before we uh, start this, let's just show you guys how to... Uh, get rid of this little stuff over here. So this was just my desk lamp that I uh, came over to kind of light up the background of the green screen. So it helped a little bit, but as you can see, it did leave a little bit of um, mark, I guess you could say. So all we're gonna do is click on the crop button. And then from here, just gonna simply drag this right there. And then we're gonna click done. And as you guys can see, you can't see this anywhere in the entire clip. Obviously, this is rendering right now, so uh, things are going to be looking a little choppy. But let's just play that back. I am back in action, and I hope to be making a video for you guys relating to this. So you guys can that see that it's totally gone. All you had to do is crop it out a little bit, and this works as well if you're just trying to do if like uh, it's a wide camera camera angle, so you it kind of picks up the walls behind the green screen or something like that or the floor. All you have to do is just crop that out, and as you can see, it works perfectly. So now that this is all black, that basically means that there's this, it's kind of transparent in a way. So this whole clip now has been uh, has become transparent. So all I'm going to do now is click here on the generators button. And now you can see you can choose from all of these different backgrounds, if you will. And uh, let's just, you know, let's just see here. We'll put in the metal one. Why not? It's pretty... Uh, big and you know might not work out too well but oh whoops try to be too fancy with that so here as you can see and uh, yeah as you can see right up here it works perfectly so that's really all it takes guys it is a very simple process and uh, yeah it's simple as that just drag and drop your clips in place whoops alright let's just get that online Okay, that didn't work out. There we go. We'll just leave it like this for now, and uh, you guys get the idea. So now, as you can see, it will be cho well. It will be choppy again. Back in action, and I Whoops! What did I just do? Let's just Control Z. All right, one more time. 
today, as you guys can see, it is uh, it worked out really well. So all you have to do, if you'd want to change that, is just simply delete that and let's put in something like uh, the curtain. Put in the curtain behind you and have it look something like this. And as you can see, it's the same type of thing. Uh, it works out really well. So obviously my computer is a little bit bogged down with all these programs running, so I'm not going to try and force it to play through that little clip there while it's rendering. Um, but as you can see, guys, Final Cut Pro 10 importing and chroma keying things out um, regarding green screens is very easy to do. If you want any other tutorials or have any questions regarding this process, please either send me a message, leave it down in the comments, and maybe, who knows, I'll make a video out of it if it's uh, requested enough. So, that's basically it. Uh, again, if you'd like to, you can just simply delete this and even put over, put this over like a video clip or something like that in the background. So, as I said guys, very simple to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't mean to be rambling right now, but again, um, you know, this is, this is it. So, thank you again for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because it should be up tomorrow. That's Tuesday. So uh, yeah, let's see how things go. And uh, I'll take care. I'll let you guys take care. So see you later.